Mighty Max from the Tomahawks. And this, this is, is Friday, Friday Night, Night Football, Football on Channel 9. 9. All right, that is Max Mendez, the honorary captain for the Merrimack Tomahawks tonight. Max just seven years old, but already facing the fight of his life. He's undergoing treatments for leukemia, but tonight he's just one of the guys providing some additional inspiration and leading the Tomahawks onto their home turf. Mighty Max leads us into Friday Night Football. All right, welcome to the Friday Night Football Report, week number five, with teams beginning to think about playoff positions and conference titles. We begin tonight with a good one in Division One, three and one Merrimack hosting four and zero Salem, playing for first place in the South Conference. Bring it up for the top, point team. A high-powered Tomahawk offense against the hard-nosed Blue Devil D. Salem and White, Matt Soldano pitches to Joshua Savanda, looking for some room, but Tyler Daniel comes up from a safety position and makes the tackle for the loss. First play from scrimmage for Merrimack, Justin Grassini hits Joe Eichmann over the middle, and Joe makes a few tacklers miss, turns it into a 46-yard gain. That led to his own five-yard touchdown run, seven to nothing, Merrimack in front. First play from scrimmage on their next drive, and Grassini lobs one down the sideline. Justin Weiser runs under it for a 57-yard touchdown. After just six plays from scrimmage, they led 14-zip. Grassini completed 28 passes, 468 yards, three touchdowns. Also a huge night for New Hampshire tackles hunger at Merrimack. Blue Devils complete a pass here. Soldano to Joshua Maroon. But check out the huge hit by Daniil. It was a tough night for Salem. Eichmann scored three times. Merrimack wins 39-20. Both teams now 4-1 this season. All right, Bedford put their perfect record on the line in Derry. 21-6 Bedford to start the second half. Pinkerton tries the onside kick. And Gannon fast is there to recover for the Astros. But the drive didn't last long. It's Aiden. Gushon, he's picked off by Bedford's Connor Collins. Good return, but that drive would stall. And then Gushon picked off again, this time by Sharouk Hussein. Great one-handed grab on the boundary. Bedford goes up top now. Connor Robert airs it out to Liam Green in stride. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Bedford just keeps winning 37 to 14. Concord at Londonderry. Lancers get their first win, 34-13. Four touchdown passes for the Lancers quarterback, Jake Stevens. Timberlane home with Central. Jacob Post carried the ball 36 times for 295 yards and five touchdowns for the Owls, while Jeremiah Rivera had three rushing touchdowns and a receiving score for Central, and Central wins 42-34. Go! Go N! Go N! H! All right, our first look at the Blackbirds of Keene this year on the road at Stello Stadium against Nashua South. Purple Panthers in purple, early third quarter, a short touchdown run by Miles Johnson, and South took a 27-6 lead. Later in the third, Sean Holland with an eight-yard touchdown run, made it 34-6, South in front of Keene. Keene stops the bleeding a bit in the fourth quarter. Jake Shrikowski comes up with the fumble recovery after the lateral by South. Self too much though, another touchdown for Holland and they win 41-14. The Panthers improved to three and two. 41-14 again is your final. All right, Albert and Spaulding both looking for win number one on the year. First offensive play for Spaulding and Jonathan Speltz breaks free and nobody's gonna catch him. About 70 yards for the Red Raiders touchdown. It was six to nothing, the PAT was blocked. Alvern responds, though. Mason Miller on the counter. He had a huge night for the Broncos. Picks up about 45 yards here, deep into Spalding territory. Then Miller will take it in for the Broncos' score. And this would make it 6-6. They went for two and did not get it. Spalding throwing it all over the place tonight. Noah LaPointe fires downfield. Great grab by Mitchell Stokes on the sideline. That set up another Spalding TD. But Mason Miller ran for four touchdowns, threw another. And Alvern picks up their first win, 36 226. Portsmouth at Exeter, huge win for the Clippers tonight, 21 to 14. So now both teams are four and one in the East. The biggest game of the night in Division Three was unquestionably in East Swansea. Monadnock and Interlakes Moultonboro both four and zero entering the night. The Huskies hadn't allowed a single point through the first four games of the season. First quarter, Monadnock's Jared Redfield with a tough nine-yard run. Next play, Redfield 
will score from two yards out. Made it eight to nothing, Huskies in front. Interlakes looking to answer, and uh, Andrew Brothers with a nice 39-yard run. He'd get taken down at the two-yard line. Three plays later, Ryan Kelly will get into the end zone with a two-yard touchdown run. Uh, the first touchdown Manadnock has given up this year made it eight to six, but the Huskies, they pull away and they stay unbeaten. They win 27 to 12. Newport at Fall Mountain. The Tigers win big, 48 to eight, the final there. The Wildcats still winless on the season. All right, Stevens also unbeaten in D3, hosting Kearsar. Second quarter, Cougars in the white uniforms. Direct snap to running back Bryce Bowen, and he throws it to Emerson Tyler, who makes a diving catch in the end zone for the touchdown. The Cards answer, Henry Bork throws one right at us. Parker Smith, nice catch, shakes the tackle and races to the end zone for the score. Bork threw two touchdown passes to Smith. Richard Bell ran for over 100 yards and two scores, and Stevens improves to 5-0. and They win 44-32. Epping and Farmington Newt, Jake Basalian threw for over 400 yards with four touchdowns. Two of them went to Noah Armstrong, and the Blue Devils win huge 60 to 14. In Division II, Kennett and Lebanon, a big win for the Raiders at home, 27-20. Both teams now 3-2 in the North Conference. Milford and Sauhegan, the Spartans win 26-14 as quarterback Zach King threw a pair of touchdown passes to Ryan Cameron. <laughs> And three and well, three and one Conval at home tonight hosting Trinity. Third quarter, Cougars already up 48-7. Trinity cuts into the lead. Colin Hines with a touchdown run. Cougars now with the ball. Daniel Spezaferi finds Isaac Brown, makes a great grab for 25 yards. A few plays later, Spezaferi's going to dump it off to Danny Parker, and he'll take it in for a score. Six-yard touchdown pass. Parker also had two interceptions. He returned one for a touchdown, also ran for a score. Conval rolls 55 to 21. Call him home with Sanborn. Nick Thrasher scored for the Indians, and Sanborn wins a close one, 7-6. Kingswood and Bo, Justin Mooney scored three times for the Falcons, and Bo wins 30-7. How about West and Pembroke looking for their first win? The Spartans get it 22-12. Nick Hanna had two rushing touchdowns for Pembroke. All right, there are six games on Saturday that are collection sites for New Hampshire Tackles Hunger. The home teams are Windham, Plymouth, Bishop Brady, BG, Newfound, and Hillsboro Deering, Hopkinton. If you're going to one of these games, you're encouraged to bring a cash or food donation. And a reminder, you can watch all of our Friday night football shows on our website, wmur.com slash FNF. You can also follow us on Twitter using the hashtag FNFWMUR. Okay, that uh, does it for week number five. We've passed the halfway point in the regular season. Good luck to the 24 teams in action tomorrow, and good luck to everyone taking the SATs in the morning. Still to come tonight, the Big Green played some Friday night football. Jamie Staten has Dartmouth highlights and more after the break.